Girls, welcome back to MVU Today. I'm Madison. And I'm Andrea. Madison, can you guess what month it is? Um, isn't it National Women's History Month? Yep, exactly. You got it. National Hi Women's History Month was founded in 1986 and was created to honor the incredible accomplishments of American women. Every year, the month has a different theme, and this year's is honoring trailblazing women in labor and business. Some of the honorees for this year are Lily Ledbetter, an equal pay activist, and Andra Rush, the founder and CEO of Rush Group. Wow, these women have left a great legacy behind them. You know what else has a legacy that is still continuing on? The MVA Today Show. This is actually the 142nd episode of MVA Today. The show has been running for five years now. Let's take a look back down memory lane at some past episodes. Hello, I'm Mabel Kadra. And I'm Iron Fleming. Woo! It's hot! Thank you, David. Hours. What's up with that? Open Gangnam Style! Omar! Omar, come here, Omar! Yo, what's fresh? Everyone calls me Sketches to Eve. Oh! Daddy! Please! I'm from China, I'm king of the hearts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite segment on NBA Today? I'm the rest of a student in the TV studio production course in the Stephens Media Art Building. In Soviet Russia, short wears you. Good afternoon, everybody. Wake up in the morning, feel not so ready. Oh, I broke it! A lot of bloopers. <laughs> Lots of bloopers. Hey, guys, come on, be quiet. And the rest of the students in the TVCO broadcasting course. Okay. Pat your head and rub your stomach. It's an instant classic. Thanks, Sam. Hey, don't forget to come see Millie tonight. <sighs> yeah. Oh that was too much running. I think he escaped. I think. <laughs> Melissa is no longer on the move. Melissa is no longer. Guys, look! Oh my, Atlanta! What in the world? Did you see that? No, it couldn't have been. <gasps> I'm Carlin Rosario, and King Kofi made it to the main desk, to the main desk. From myself and the rest of the students in the TV studio broadcasting course in the Stevens Media Arts Building. Thanks. Where are you from? Colombia. Oh, very interesting. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm rolling in on the street. <laughs> Wow. Mine blown. I can't believe how far the show has come. I wonder what legacy I will leave behind. I'm not really sure, Madison, but people have some of the insight on what other students hope to be remembered by. What's up, guys? It's your Brazilian boy people here, and today I'm on the street. Let's go. So I'm here with Patrick. So Patrick, what legacy do you wish to leave at MVA? Um, I would like to be remembered, basically leave my legacy here as a good student athlete and a tennis player. Thank you. So, I'm here with Hillary. So, Hillary, what legacy do you wish to leave at NVA? Uh, I want to be known as a leader when I leave here. Three, two, one. And that wraps up for today. Back to you guys. They're going to have to work hard to accomplish what they want out of their legacy. Someone who has achieved a lot to play a part in all of our lives and even past Montverde students' lives is our Dean of the Upper School, Mr. Urquhart. Let's, over, let's go over to Natalie and Gregory, who interviewed the dean himself. Hey, we're here with Mr. Urquhart, who is dean of Upper School, and we understand he's going to be leaving soon, so with that, we have a few questions. Um, first, what is your role as dean of Upper School? Well, I mean, I, I sometimes tell people that if there's anything that touches the students or teachers here at Montverde in the Upper School, then it's probably partly my responsibility, at least. Um, the biggest thing that I, I think my responsibility is, is is creating some opportunities for students and teachers to do the things that they want to pursue, you know, whether that's um, academics or the arts, um, that we're creating an environment where they can pursue excellence in those things. Very cool. Next one. Um, how have your roles at Montverde transformed since you've been here? Um, quite a lot, actually. When I, I came here, this is my 11th year. So when I joined Montverde, I came in as an English teacher. 
And um, after a few years there, I did some work as a director of professional development, so um, worked with some professional development opportunities for teachers. I then was very briefly the dean of students and then became dean of upper school um, a few years ago. Cool. And what is the greatest thing you think you will leave behind as your legacy? <laughs> That's a tough question. Um, and I think you know, we talk a lot about legacy at Montverde. Uh, but for me in this job, it, it's not really so much about what I've done or um, what, I pe what I want people to remember me as having done so much as, as it is, I think, the work that students have done and the work that teachers have done um, while I've been here. And I hope that, that they'll continue to do that and, and much, much more. Um, as I said a minute ago, you know, I, I really think that my job is about creating um, space and environments and removing obstacles and creating opportunities for students and teachers to uh, do the things that they do. Um, I think particularly in the arts, we've seen tremendous growth over the last few years. Um, and I think in our AP program as well, we've gone um, from giving about 300 exams a year to giving about 500 exams this year. So I think that that shows that teachers and students are taking on a lot more academic challenge. And, you know, that's something that I'll remember fondly. And finally, what will you miss the most from Mount Verde? The biggest thing for me at, at Mount Verde, I think, is going to be um, the diversity of, of the student body. Uh, there aren't any other schools that I know of anywhere that have so many different cultures and backgrounds represented. And, and I, I think I'll really miss the opportunity to learn about people from different parts of the world and, and how they see things. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's crazy to think back at how Mr. Urquhart was my uncle's English teacher and now the dean while I'm in upper school. He has definitely grown with the school during its time of changes. I wonder how our sports teams have been growing throughout their seasons. Time to head over to sports to find out. Thanks Madison and Andrea. This weekend was very busy for our Lady Eagles. With our Montverde Academy Invitational Softball Tournament happening this past weekend, our girls fought hard and finished strong, even though they weren't the champs. Congrats, ladies. We also had a track meet this past weekend, and our Eagles flew past their opponents. Speaking of flying, the boys lacrosse team is soaring through their season, winning the past two matches. Tonight, the boys' tennis team is away, and lacrosse team has their senior night here at NVA. Good luck, guys. On Thursday, we are sending our baseball, tennis, and softball teams away for games. Wish you guys the best of luck. Well, that wraps it up for sports this week. I'm Naja. And I'm Maddie. Back to you guys on the main desk. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie and Naja. You guys are the GOATs. What did you just say, Madison? You know, GOAT. Greatest of all time, duh. I know what you meant, but that wasn't, like, why would you, <sighs> just never mind. I think Jacob and Paul need to take it away with their debate already. Ooh, just like Curry. Paul! Curry is awful. What are you talking about? This is literally like a LeBron shot right here. Just like that. Are you kidding me? He gets bucket. Clearly arguing with you is going nowhere. Can we at least agree that UNC is winning the NCAA tournament? Are you talking about Lonzo Ball? Best player in the country. Look, look, look at LeVar. He said his sons are worth $1 billion. Paul, you're a goof. You are a goof. Can we at least agree that Ronaldo is the best soccer player of all time? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's not even a question. Messi's the greatest player of all time. Oh Five Ballon d'Ors, Champions League. He's the greatest player ever. It's not even a question. <laughs> LeVar would beat Michael Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? He averaged 2.2 .2 points per game in college. Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady. What? <laughs> Five Super Bowls. Five. You see, Andrea? Goat. I understood the first time, Madison, but how about we just start into desk mentions? Well, okay. This Friday, Ritters will be on campus during lunch, and Night for the Cure will be Friday night from 5.30 to 10. Well, that wraps it up for this week's MBA Today. From all the students in the TV Studio Broadcasting course in the Steve Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm Andrea. And I'm Madison. Make, Make your mark, Eagles! Eagles.